Good morning, my students. Today we will make a final revision. We will solve very important problems. First, our first question, choose the correct answer. Choose the correct answer. Number one, 9.16 approximately equal to. We want to make approximate to the nearest tenth. To the nearest tenth, where is the place value of tenth here? So we will look right next place value. We have a six. Number six, we will add one more for the tenses. So we, if we add one to one, become two, become two, and the remainder of the number will be the same. So our answer will be 9.2. Number two, five, belong or not belong, subset or not subset of the set three and four and six. Five, is not belong to this set. So we will choose not belong. Why we will don't choose not subset? Because we have an element with another set. If we have an set, a set and another set, we will choose subset or not subset. Number three, 3.75 times 1,000. 3.75 times 1,000. If we multiply by 10 or 100 or 1000, we will move the decimal point to right because we multiply. We will move the decimal point how many places? We have three zero, so we will move the decimal point three places to right. We have only two places, so we first must insert another zero before move the decimal point. So insert zero and move the decimal point three places to right become 3,750. Question number four. Two over five divided by three over five. If we divide a fraction by another fraction, first drop the first fraction as the same, two over five. And exchange the sign to multiply and flip the second fraction, become 5 over 3. Before making multiply, we want to make simplify first. 2 over 5 times 5 over 3. 5 over, we will use the multiplication, cross multiplication method. 5 over 5 become 1, 5 over 5 become 1. Now, numerator times numerator, 2 times 1 become 2. 1 times 3 becomes 3, so our choose is 2 over 3. Question number 5. Any chord passing through the center of the circle is called. We have in our choices a side or a diameter or a radius or otherwise. We know that any chord passing through the center of the circle is called a diameter. And we know that the diameter is the longest chord in a circle. The diameter is the longest chord in a circle. Question number six. We have a set. This set has only one element three. And the another set, one, three, two. The element set in this set is also belong to the another set. So we will choose subset. We say before, if we have a set and another set, we will use subset and do not subset. If we have an element and a set, we will use belong and not belong. Question number seven. Three over eight and one over two. We wanted to choose greater than or less than or equal or greater than or equal. Now, we will use the cross multiplication method to know which fraction is greater. 8 times 1 and 2 times 3. 8 times 1, 8. 2 times 3, 6. Which number is greater now? Yes, sure, 8. So we will choose less than because 3 over 8 is less than half. Question number 8. 5 over 6, as I said, we have two elements, 5 and 6, intersect 4 and 5, equal. 5 and 6 intersect 4 and 5, we 
if he ask you find the intersecting set, he want to find the common elements between the two sets. Look at with me, where is the common elements? Five and six, four and five. Yes, five is the common elements between the two sets. So we write five between process. Our answer is a set of five. Now, tension with me, question two. He say complete. Question one, 5.45 divided by 0.5. We know that if we want to divide a decimal number by another decimal number, first we want to make a new look for a division. How we can make a new look? We will convert the decimal number from the decimal form to the whole form. Now, 5.45 divided by 0 0.5 as a fraction. Now we will multiply both of the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Which number now? In the denominator, we have only one decimal place. So we will multiply both of the numerator and the denominator by 10. 0 0.5 times 10 become 5. 5.45 times 10, we will move the decimal point one place to right, become 54. 0.5 and now we will use the long division to find the quotient of the division 54.5 divided by 5 don't forget write a decimal point up to the decimal point of the divider now we have in the divisor only one digit so look at the first one digit 5 divided by 5 equals yes 1 now, 1 times 5, 5, and make subtraction, 5 minus 5, 0. Drop, number 4. Now, 4 can divide by 5? No, because 4 is less than 5. So, we will put 0 and drop the another number. Drop the another number. Now, we have 45. 45 divided by 5, we get, yes, 9. 9 times 5, 45 and make subtraction, our remainder now is zero, so our division is finite. Our quotient now, 10.5. Question two, the probability of the sure event. We know that the probability of the sure event equal, yes, I can hear someone say to me, one. If he ask you the probability of the impossible event, yes, you must write zero. Impossible event, the probability of impossible event equals zero. Probability of sure event equals one. Question number three. The set have one, four, and six. Union phi. Phi is the null set or the empty set. If we make a union between a set and phi and the empty set, we know that we will write the greater set. So we will write one, four and six. If the same question, he say one, four and six intersect phi, we know that if he, any set intersect phi equals a phi, but any set union phi equals the same set. Question number four, 6.592 approximately equal to 6.59. He ask you, he make approximate to the nearest which place value? Yes, I say to you, if we have only two decimal places, he make approximate to the nearest, yes, hundreds. Don't forget, if he make approximate to the nearest tenses, we must find only one decimal place. If he, we find two decimal places, he make approximate to the nearest hundreds. If he make approximate to the nearest three decimal places, he make approximate to the nearest thousands. Now, question five, if the set one and x equal two and y, then find the value of x and y. If, he, if we have two sets and the two sets are equal, we must find 
all of the elements in the first set are also found in the second set. Now, 1 and x equal 2 and y. We note that 2 belongs to the second set, but not belong to the first one. So, replace x by 2. And 1 is belong to the first set, and doesn't belong to the second set. So, we replace y by the 1. Now, he can, we can answer the value of x equal 2, yes. And the value of y equal 1. Question number 6. 2.4 decimeter equal how many centimeters? We know that if we want to convert from decimeter to centimeter, we will multiply by huh, 10. Yes, if we want to convert from decimeter to centimeter, we multiply by 10. Now, 2.4 times 10. Yes, I can hear someone say we have a decimal number. If we multiply by 10 or 100 or 1000, we will move the decimal point to the right. How many places? We have one zero, so we will move the decimal point one place to the right. Yes, become 24 centimeter. 24 centimeter. Now, question three. Answer the following. Number one, look at the opposite Venn diagram, then answer. Now we have the universal set. Inside it, we have two sets, x and y. Inside the set of x, we have one, two, and five. Inside the set of y, we have three, two, and six. And in the universal set, we have an element seven, belong to the universal set, but doesn't belong to x or y. Now, find x intersect y. If he say to you, find the intersection set between x and y, he wants the common elements between x and y. Now, what is the common elements between x and y? Yes, I can hear someone say two. But now, he want little p to find x union y. x union y. If he say to you, find x union y, he wanted to find all of the elements between x and y. All of the elements, but don't forget, we don't repeat elements in the set. Now, all of the elements of x and y, 1, 5, 2, 3, and 6. Now, the complement of x. Let us see the complement of x, or we can say x dash, equal. If we wanted to find the complement of x, we wanted to find the elements belong to the universal set, but doesn't belong to the set of x. So we will hide the set of x. We find the remainder elements 3, 6, and 7. Yes. Letter D. Why difference x? Why difference x? He wanted to find the elements belong to y, but doesn't belong to x. Someone asked me, if we have a common element between x and y, we write the elements belong to y, belong to y, but doesn't belong to x. If we have a common elements, yes, also we will hide it. So we will hide the set of x and write the elements found in the set of y, not the found in the universal set. So now I will hide x and find the elements belong to y, 3 and 6. Don't forget, we don't write 7 because 7 is doesn't belong to y. 3 and 6. y difference x equals 3 and 6. Now, question 2. Arrange in descending order. Arrange in descending order. Don't forget, if he arrange in descending order, he wanted to arrange from greatest to smallest. From greatest to smallest. Now, before look to our problem, we have all of the numbers is a mixed number. 5 and 2 over 7, 2 and 2 over 3, 6 and 2 over 5, 
4 and 1 over 3. First, look to the whole number. First, look to the whole number. Here we have 5. Here we have 2. Here we have 6. Here we have 4. We don't want to look to the fraction now because the greatest number now, 6 and 2 over 3. We look to the whole number first. After 6 and 2 over 3, choose which number now? 5. 5 and 2 over 7. After 5, yes, 4. 4 and 1 over 3. Last one, 2 and 2 over 3. Now, question number 3. 1.775 times 0 0.15. If we multiply two decimal numbers, we will make as usual multiplying, but after find the result, we will put the new decimal point. Now, five times five equal 25. Five and carry up two. Five times seven, 35. 35 plus two, 37. Seven, write seven and carry up three. Five times seven, yes, 30, 35 plus three, 38, 8, and carry up 3. 5 times 1, 5 plus 3, 8. Before multiply the second place value, don't forget insert 0. Now, 1 times 5, 5. 1 times 7, 7. 1 times 7, 7. 1 times 1, 1. Now make addition. 5 plus 0, 5. 7 plus 5, 12, 2 and carry up, 1. 1 plus 8, 9. 9 plus 7, 16. 6 and carry up, 1. 1 plus 8, 9. 9 plus 7, 16. 6 and carry up, 1. 1 plus 1 equal 2. Look at with me. The first decimal number, we have three decimal places. And the second decimal number, we have two decimal places. So in the result, we will put the new decimal point after how many decimal places? Yes, five decimal places. Right, fr count from the right. One, two, three, four, five, and put the decimal point. So our result equal 0 0.26625. Thank you, my students. Please, please, please pay attention and solving problems, more problems to get the full mark in the math exam. Thank you.